What is a paradise fish? Is this a type of betta fish? How to care for them? Can paradise fish fight against betta fish? Betta fish and paradise fish are often compared for their similar appearance and behavior. However, despite their similarities, there are some significant differences between these two fish. In today's video, I will discuss about paradise fish in detail including their behavior, temperament and breeding nature by comparing them to betta fish. Lastly, let's discuss whether they can be an alternative to betta fish. Paradise fish are not betta fish, although they share some similarities. While they share some physical characteristics with betta fish, paradise fish have distinctive features that set them apart. Paradise fish are freshwater fish native to East Asia, including China, Korea, Vietnam, and Thailand. Paradise fish are members of the Gurami family. They are a popular choice for hobbyists due to their stunning coloration, interesting behavior, and ease of care. Why do paradise fish club air like betta fish? Both betta fish and paradise fish are labyrinth fish. This means they have a special organ called the labyrinth organ that allows them to breathe air from the water surface. Both fish periodically swim up to the surface of the water to take a gulp of air, although paradise fish do this less often than betta fish. This behavior is more frequent in shallow or poorly oxygenated water, but they also do it in well-aerated tanks. This adaptation allows them to survive in shallow ponds and stagnant pools. How long can paradise fish live? The lifespan of paradise fish can vary depending on the quality of care they receive, but typically they can live for 5 to 8 years in captivity. Providing them with a well-maintained tank, a balanced diet, and regular health monitoring can help them live a long and healthy life. It's also worth noting that females may have a slightly longer lifespan than males. Can paradise fish fight against betta fish? Betta fish and paradise fish both are known for aggression and territorial nature, especially males. They are unlikely to tolerate each other's presence and start to fight. In a fight between betta fish and paradise fish, it's difficult to predict who wins, as betta fish are more aggressive but paradise fish are much larger in size. To avoid fights, keep them in separate tanks. If you keep them together, it's crucial to have a large enough tank with plenty of hiding places and visual barriers. Keeping only one male of each species in a tank will be a safer option to reduce the risk. What do paradise fish eat? Both betta fish and paradise fish require a diet of high-quality fish flakes, pellets, and frozen or live foods such as brine shrimp, bloodworms, and daphnia. Making sure they have a balanced diet is essential for their health and well-being. A mix of flake and pellet foods is an excellent base, as they are affordable and easy to feed. However, don't forget to include protein in their diet. Bloodworms, brine shrimp, larvae, and white worms are all fantastic options for protein. Offering live food when possible is an excellent way to enhance their nutrition and enrichment. So, give your paradise fish a variety of foods to keep them happy and healthy. Is it true that paradise fish fight like betta fish? Betta fish are known for their aggressive behavior and are often kept alone due to their tendency to fight other fish. In contrast, paradise fish are also known for their aggressive behavior, but they can be kept in groups under certain conditions. However, they have a higher temper compared to other gurami types. This aggression is mainly directed towards their own species, but other fish can also get involved in their scuffles as well. If left unchecked, this aggression can lead to physical harm and health issues, so it's important to keep an eye out for any signs of fighting. But they are not aggressive like betta fish. How to breed paradise fish? Paradise fish are relatively easy to raise in a community tank with appropriate hiding places for the female to lay her eggs. These fish build bubble nests, like bettas and other gurami species. The male blows bubbles that rise to the surface and form a nest, where females lay their eggs. During the mating process, the male wraps itself around the female several times. The female will lay eggs, which will float up to the nest, and the process will continue until all the eggs are laid. This can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a few hours. After the eggs have been laid, it's critical to remove the female from the tank as the male will become very protective of the nest, potentially attacking the female. Once the eggs hatch and the fry are free-swam, it is critical to remove the male as he may eat the fry. Alternatively, you can use a separate tank to raise the fry. 
The fry can take 30 to 90 hours to hatch, so it's important to be patient during this period. How to identify male and female fish? Identifying male and female paradise fish is relatively easy. Males are generally larger and brighter than females. They have longer, more pointed fins. In contrast, females are smaller and duller in color, with shorter fins that are more rounded. One key feature that distinguishes males from females is their ventral fins. These fins are located on the fish's underside, near the head. In males, the ventral fins are longer and more pointed than in females. When did you first learn about paradise fish? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Can paradise fish a community tank? In case of betta fish, they are generally best kept alone or with peaceful fish such as snails, shrimp, or small catfish. They should not be kept with other betta fish or fish with similar colors and long fins, as this can trigger aggression. Paradise fish, on the other hand, can be kept with other fish as long as they are not too small or have similar colors and long fins. Suitable tank mates for paradise fish include larger, peaceful fish such as rainbow fish, danios. It's important to keep only one male paradise fish in the tank, as they can be very aggressive towards one another. It's best to keep a harem of one male with several females to prevent aggression. When selecting tank mates, it's important to avoid adding other gurumi species or any fish with a similar appearance to the paradise fish. Paradise fish are fascinating species that can be an excellent addition to your aquarium or pond. They are not a type of betta fish, but a species of gurumi, with distinct physical and behavioral differences. So, are they a good alternative to betta fish? In my opinion, they are a better option for community tank than betta fish. In another hand, paradise fish cannot replace the elegance of betta fish and nature among aquarium keepers. I hope you find this information helpful in understanding these beautiful and fascinating fish. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay up to date with more informative and interesting content on aquarium fish and other related topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.